All right, what is going on? Um, doing another quick look. I'm actually liking these videos quite a bit because they're they're really short. They're pretty to the point. They have like a main topic. I'm sure you guys like that a lot more than my bods of recordings. Anywho, uh, so this this video is about uh, things like pure ref and uh, another option I recently discovered that I actually like quite a bit. So let's let's take a look. So I've got uh, Pinterest up here. We've got Pure Ref here. Like Pure Ref's pretty rad. It's free. You can just add stuff in here. You can save things. You can add text. So let's say I'll just hit print screen. I'm using a um, light shot to grab these and then pressing Control C to copy it. And then if I click in here anywhere so that it's an active window and then just Control V, I can paste it. And you can see there's a little box here for um, the size of the canvas. And at any time you can you can optimize that. If you hold down control, you can rotate. If you hold down control and shift, you can snap to all, all that stuff. Anyways, uh, there's there's a couple of things. Like if you right click, let's see where it's at here. So if you optimize or control O, that'll uh, clean up the canvas space. If you have some other things. So let's, let's scroll around here and, and look at another couple more things. We're like, oh, okay, we really like this. Put that over there. Um, where are we at here? Normalize. So Control N. I was like, where is it? Allows you to add text. So that's cool. Um, it does get a little. So if you hold down Control and Alt, you can scale these things. But it it is a little limited, like. You can do some, some names, tagging, you can lock this canvas, you can make the background clear and then um, lock this frame and have it always on top so it's on top of whatever you're working on. But you can't draw on here or collaborate or push this to the cloud. Like this saves locally to a file that ends up getting quite large and heavy as the file you know takes on like 50 to 100 images and text. And uh, it has this, uh, at least a little bit of a probability of uh, corruption where essentially you'll, you'll lose everything. So it's, it's in your best interest to be saving maybe two versions every once in a while. But given all that, it's, it's been a really good program um, for me so far. Now, the reason I'm making this video is for one that I recently discovered, which used to be called real-time boards. But they've rebranded and call they call themselves uh, Miro or Miro now. Probably saying that wrong, but uh, M I R O dot com is how you get to them. Uh, I've got the desktop one downloaded, and you'll see right off the bat, like, oh man, it's really bright. Like that does not help me at all. Uh, you've got a grid here, right? Just know that. Um, so if we go here, you can see that you can start a project and the free option allows you three boards or I, I wouldn't say start a project, say start a board. So you can have up to three boards for free. You can have unlimited friends uh, contributing to this board and commenting in real time. And it's all cloud-based. So there's, there's no chance of corruption and you can pull it up on your iPad or your phone, Android and Apple. Um, it's really, really cool. So I'm going to just kind of show you some of the stuff that you can do in here. Um, you can't see it, but down here there is a percentage. Uh, maybe I can just do this. There you go. So you can see a little bit more. We'll take this. Do, do that. Okay. So you got a little percentage thing here. You have a little map that shows you like the scale of the scene. Um, if you click the percentage, it'll zero it out to 100% zoom. But let's uh, let's let's do some stuff. So same same uh, process where you can you can print screen, copy this, paste it, right? So then it uploads, and once it's uploaded, you can move it around. You can draw to a sticky note. You can add text here. That makes total sense, right? Yeah can scale that down. You can put this wherever you want. 
Um, and then I guess I'll just demo. So I've got, I'm on the base of my phone right now, like the front page, just starting the app. I have to log in, of course. That's weird, I didn't have to log in earlier when I was trying this out. All right. Let me pull this up, bring this over here real quick. Sorry, this slowed it down a little bit. Um, so you could see that there's all this stuff here. Um, now imagine, so you see this, see my name there? This is, uh, this is me moving around in, in a browser. So imagine this could be someone else that's logged in as well. And this person, even though it says it's me, this person's going to be maybe contributing through, um, through their browser. So they're, they, do, they do the same stuff where they copy, they can paste, they can move this around. Maybe they want to, maybe they zoom in and they move this up here. Um, if they draw, you can see I'm drawing. And then for me, maybe I go here, do the, the latency on this is really good. Uh, like I was, I'm super surprised at how good, how good it is. So like maybe you want to drag some sticky notes out, uh, for people that are Jira oriented, you can actually, if you're paying for, uh, Miro, you can, um, tag Jira's to these sticky notes and then you can add like you can add tags for searching and you can um, put emotes or tag people specifically to them and they'll be notified like a notification so this is really good also for like small art uh, collaborations now um, while we're looking at all of this stuff let's um, let's go and make a shape here so I'm just gonna draw this shape out and um, you see it's going on top of everything. So you can just, um, if I click this right click, you can send backwards or page down. And of course, you're gonna have to think about what you're drawing. So these are all vector as well, so. But you're gonna have to think about what color you're drawing with. Man, I make this look so clunky. <laughs> it's awesome, man. I wonder why I can't select that. There you go. It's too small. Like how cool is this, man? It's so, like you could get pretty picky about stuff, but because we sent all that to the back, I believe you can also group these. I think this is, yeah, control G. So you can group elements together so that they're always staying together. Um, but you could take this shape, scale this up and like, you'll notice as I'm scaling this piece up that it allows me to keep zooming out. So you can make huge, huge scenes. Um, so let's go ahead and just press control L, which locks this frame. So then now this is not moving and it's all the way at the back. So now you have your black background um, that we were looking for earlier. I'm gonna grab a few more screens of some stuff. All right, so put that there. This one's going on here. Let's, let's delete that We'll bring this up here. And um, for organization reasons, you want to take, maybe you want to take these and you want three areas for thought, right? So let's, um, stage zero, we'll just scale this up. We'll make sure that it's yellow. Do uh, stage one. And you remember this is all being saved in, in real time at all times. So if you ever need to leave or whatever, it's, it's, already, it's already in the cloud and on all of your mobile devices. Um, so this one, frames. So if you press F, you can, uh, you can do a custom format frame, 
Um, there's even some like templates for making it look like it's a tablet or an iPhone or yeah. But if you draw a frame, so we've got a frame here, custom ratio, fill color. That's weird. I don't think you need a fill color. I think it's also conflicting with the fact that there's a dark object or a, a dark shape in the background. Um, so let's, let's scroll out and I will select that, press control L. I'm just gonna delete that so that you can see what's happening here. Pressing G will get rid of the grid as well. Um, let's, can I multi-select these and then change the, all of their colors? Oh my gosh, you can, that's cool. Oh, bold without even getting into the text mode as well. Nice, okay. So we got this frame. Think about frames in this program like frames in Unreal for uh, the material editor. So I've got this frame, that's cool. I'm gonna press F again. We're gonna draw another frame and F again to draw another frame. Now, the coolest thing about frames is if you go down here, oh, you can't see it, hang on. There we go, if you go down here, there's a uh, frames and then there's like a presentation mode. There's even chat if you want to chat with whoever is in the in the board. But uh, let's let's go to uh, let's click frames so you can see this and you can go to like a list view as well. So maybe this one's just me called like uh, temp dins dins cave <laughs> uh, and then new frame. So you can see. When you click on these, it hops to them. And uh, yeah, dude, it's really powerful. And there's quite a bit you can do for a small project where it's just artist oriented and you're gathering a bunch of concepts and you're like, you're just trying to, you're just trying to build on it, right? Um, oh, they have smart drawing too. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. I could take this and move this over here. Oh man, it even treats it as an object. So you can do the, the thing we were doing earlier. You can make the outside edge dotted lines, dashes, change the opacity, that's cool. Um, yeah, sticky note. The text. But yeah, cool. Really useful. There's a share button up here. You can send it to other collaborators, aka your other artist buddies. Share what share what you want. Um, have all the live drawing tools. You're like, I really like this thing. That's cool. There's an eraser. I'll grab this later. Be like, I need that to be yellow so we can see it. Um, and yeah, there's some really good stuff here. Oh, wow. What? I'm still learning things as you can tell. Oh, wow. You can put, oh man. so cool anywho that is uh that is miro try it out see what you think i will see you guys later peace